Alrighty guys, good morning. It's Dave Santorelli from BreakingChartAlerts.com and Santorelli Trading Exchange. Uh, so today we got some numbers that came out. We have the continued claims, uh, the unemployment numbers, and the continued claims that came out. They were both much better than expected. Market is picking up from the lows here. As you can see, SPY, we have that wick that was down further. Uh, so we are climbing off the lows there. So we're going to do what we always do, give the market first 15 minutes here looking for those day trades. Uh, we have a Visa trade that was a piggyback trade. Let me share this here. So we have a Visa trade. This is the Trade Challenge account that we started with 2,500. It's at 53.2769 now. Uh, we have a Visa trade that we still have open from the other trades that we made there. This is a piggyback trade off of American Express earnings on uh, Friday, tomorrow. Uh, so obviously that's a piggyback trade we picked up. Holding on to that, seeing what Amex is going to do, and we could go over and in a little update bit ahead here, of the open. Uh, what the implied move is for AXP. I'm looking at that right now. It's got a 3% implied move for this week. So if I bring this up here for you guys quick and uh, share this with you. So here's Amex for this week here. And as you can see, earnings October 22nd. This is for American Express. Since Visa's in the same sector there, it usually follows it. That's why we call it a piggyback trade. Okay, so the implied move for one day, uh, you know, on Amex is 3%. So if we get a 3% move on Visa there, let's just look at this before markets open quick. Visa's at 231.50. 231.5 times 1.03 that brings shares up to 238.45 you know so if we have that 235 this still has the ability to be worth uh, you know about uh, three dollars and fifty cents you know if amex got that nice spike tomorrow if it has a beat so i'm going to be watching that and seeing what we want to do with that markets are open now uh, so what i want to focus on today is going to be spy if we're going to be day trading, I want to look at SPY. I, I also want to look at a swing trade, which I was thinking about uh, with FedEx here. Thinking about doing a FedEx uh, swing trade there. She's at 231.12 right now. NVIDIA is starting to get a climb. FedEx is getting a little pop there. Okay, we got some of the watch list here starting to turn green. Square, Verizon, Nike, Baba. Visa's pulling back there. Let's see what else we got going on over here. Moderna getting a nice climb over to the right. Let's put up Moderna. Spy starting to climb still off those lows. That was a nice candle right there before she just had that one. So let's keep an eye on Spy. I'm going to get my option chain ready to go just in case. I always have that usually on the top screen here, so here it is right here. I'm just going to put in SPY, and I'm going to have that ready to go with the uh, types. Obviously, we don't know if it's going to be calls or puts yet. We usually do the 15-minute opening range strategy, uh, so we'll just leave that like that. Today's date is the 21st, so we'll be looking at the 22nd Expo. You know, probably the 450, uh, 451 if it's going to be puts, 452 if it's going to be calls. You know, I'm just going to have that ready up to the top here, ready to go. And I'm going to start looking at the watch list now going on that. And I'm going to go down here and see what it is we want to look at. Airlines are looking good today, up almost 1%. Netflix up about 1%. Let's just go down here and take a look. So there's Amazon. We're only about two minutes in. <clears throat> Baidu starting to get a climb there. I like that candle on Baba. Baba might start to get a good breakout today. If it does, I'm going to be adding to my Baba in the main account. Moderna starting to get a nice climb again. WE, we work. We work opens at eleven dollars twenty-eight cents <clears> after <throat> listing via SPAC merger. That's Whiskey Echo WE. Let's see, Dwayne. Let's see what Apple's doing over to the right. We work now at 11. 25. There goes Baba. Baba's on the climb. Nice break on in Baba. The market earlier. Moderna's climbing nicely. Let me put on here Baba. Because we got a Baba swing trade. I want to keep an eye on that. Visa is just pulling back nonstop there. AMD's up about 1%. Baba's getting a nice climb.
We got a Baba trade for next week's expo there. That one's starting to get a nice breakout. Three month daily, consolidate a little bit. She breaks that 180, she's gonna be off. There goes Baba now, big climb on Baba. Good morning, Paula. Sophie's got a nice climb there, up 1.7%. JP Morgan high a day, 171 on JPM. Our target on that was Oh, Jones and Jester Rabbits down 0.2% after the open. Score V says 120% gain on Ford. Nice job on that. JMIA, Ford's Jumia, up another 2.4% today. Ouster. That's incredible. Ford near and sixteen Michael, fifty India, a share. Alpha. J M I A. I remember we bought back that short leg right here on this day. On September fifteenth, we bought that back that short a leg. Up here, twenty dollars eleven cents. That would have been nice if we had the November expo and we bought back that short leg instead of the October. Still made a nice profit on that trade. Let's see, Baba's going, Sophie's moving. S&P 500 down 0.1%, NASDAQ Composite down 0.2% after the open. Sophie looks like she's going to get right up to that 25 again, doesn't it? It's a nice climb there. Steady climb. 16 to 21 in a few days, though. Makes me wonder if there's going to be some type of profit taking over the next day or two. But I mean, that next resistance is going to be right around 24, 25 bucks. Apple pulling back there. That's still getting a climb. They're talking about Tesla now. Let's see, watch list, AMD still on the climb, Tilray still climbing there. Any of you guys in Tilray? That's coming off the bottom there. That's a nice uh, MACD cross. Just coming off the bottom there. Might not be bad for a swing trade a couple of months out. Under Armour's been consolidating. I like how it held that support. Coming right up to that 20. And uh, Under Armour options are usually really cheap. There goes Apple. Okay, everything's just about getting a climb there. Visa's coming off the lows. Apple is. Baba's getting another pop again. Sophie's still pulling back. HUDI, Quadi International halted on back. a circuit breaker. Hotel Uniform Delta, India. Nine thirty seven. About nine forty five we'll start looking for some good good day trades here. Right now I'm looking at the watch list, seeing what's moving, what's giving me some volatility we could hop in and out of with some quick trades. Brazilian market's getting slammed today. Wonder what the news is in Brazil. Uh, 
Uh, there we go. Uh, Brazil's Bolsonaro accused of crimes against humanity over COVID. Leaked COVID-19 reports calls for mass homicide charges against Brazilian president. And they're all corrupt over there. There goes Baba. Big breakout on Baba. Big breakout on Baba. Sophie getting a climb off that 20 SMA there. Baba's still climbing, looking great. We got Which, that swing uh, trade on Baba for Nini next as week as a piggyback off the tech Whiskey earnings. Charlie Hotel. Since uh, Baba uh, doesn't report now this now month. So if we got a little climb off that 20, see if it holds or if it's just going to squeeze between Up that 10, 20 and continue that to pull Sandy back Whiskey, there. I'm watching Charlie Apple. Hotel Apple's near highs of the day. WCH. Let's see here. Three month daily. This is another one on Apple that looks good for a swing going into next week. Apple looks like a really good swing trade again. There goes Apple. Another breakout on Apple. Let's see here. Do we want to make a day trade on Apple? Those options are pretty darn cheap. see what they're going for October 22nd 150 is we're only going for about 67 cents that's dirt cheap right there we start to get that climb I'm probably gonna pick up about 10 of those and EON neo node announcing 14 million dollar registered direct offering that's November India November echo Oscar November and see how quick that went from 70 cents all the way down to 65 I mean that's one thing you got to be prepared for if you jump into an Apple trade like this. It expires tomorrow, so you're going to see choppiness share. on that. That's if you don't want to make uh, 10 contracts, make a smaller trade. Make O-N. seven contracts. Share is dropping to the lows now, $8.18. That's this is one, though. See, it's November near 62 and cents now. So it's going to be a mover. You look for a quick six cents move, that's a, that's a 10% gain. Tesla at 880, up $13.50, 1.5%. JRJC, China Finance halted on a circuit breaker. That's one that could certainly Julia move Romeo, back Julia up to that Charlie, 950, JRJC. though. If she reaches 900 today, Jerry's you know, she could reach that 950 tomorrow. For a correction, $9.22. Moderna getting a pop. There up goes Sophie, big candle on Sophie. Now that's Julia Romeo, Julia Charlie, JRJC. Let's see if Apple starts to climb there. See, 59 cents. It was just at 70. So you know that's a. If you had 10 contracts, that's a 110 dollar move there, and off of just two candles. So you got to be prepared for that volatility. That's why trade management and position sizing are are very important here. 59 cents. Might be picking that up. I'm watching it over to the right here at that 10:20 SMA on a today one minute chart. There goes Baba taking off again. Apple starting to get a little climb. HUDI shares resume trading now. Wadi International, thirteen dollars. Let's see if I want to jump in. High. So see if I jumped in, it'd be ten contracts. It'd be about a six hundred dollar trade. I'm going to jump in there. Alrighty, I'm in Apple, 150 call. I'm in at 59 cents a contract. All 
That's one, too, if you wanted to hold overnight. I don't think that would be a bad idea. And let's see what Apple. Apple implied move from now until October 29th, 3.5%. Now until November 19th, 5.21%. Uh, Still getting a nice climb there. SOL, Rena Solar, weekly eight and a half call sweep. Sandy Oscar Lima. There is a Rena Solar spiking to the highs, eight dollars thirty-two cents. CBOE, CBOE says actively investigating an issue. That from Bloomberg. they want to put him in jail for believing in herd immunity. Ali Bravo, Oscar Echo, for uh, killing three hundred thousand Brazilians. They want to they want to throw him in jail because he believed in herd immunity. ADIL, ADIL announcing pre-positive clinical That's data for insane. Pernavates. PNV5030 as drug candidate for the treatment of pain, Alpha Delta India Lima, ADIL. She doesn't hold up at 149.20. I'm probably going to get rid of it here. All right, I'm out of that at 44 cents. That did not go our way there. So out of that at 45 cents, I exited out of 45. We were in at 59, out at 45. First day trade there sold for a loss of how much percent was that? Dwayne, that's exactly why I like giving it the first 15 minutes there. Everything could be moving very early. Spy starting to climb, though. That's looking good there. Let's see, what time is it? 9.47. Visa consolidating right at 226.50. Moderna pulled back. Sophie needs to break that 21.50.
love to add to that Baba trade. I'm going to wait for it to break 180, though, before I add to it. Ford is still on the climb up 3.3%. Steve, are you still holding on to Ford? Tesla is still on the climb. ASO, Alpha Sandy Oscar, a new pick from Investors Business Day, American Sports and Outdoors. That's Alpha Sandy Oscar, ASO. on getting another nice break out there maybe up to that ADIL, Alpha Delta India Lima, shares resume trading now. ADIL Pharmaceuticals, $4.32, hit a high of $4.65. That's Alpha Delta India Lima. So up 21 bucks. There goes Apple. Big break on an Apple now. JRJC resuming trade now. Juliet Romeo, Juliet Charlie. JRJC. Little late there, Dwayne. Little late. Let's see, the one fifties are going for uh fifty seven cents now again. Fifty eight. There she goes, she's at sixty cents now on Apple. New highs of the day on Apple. 61 cents on those contracts now. We were in just a little early. $0.63. Cents. All right, let's look at SPY here. Let's see, Dow is down about 50, NASDAQ's up 29 points, S&P's down about 1. <clears throat> I like that climb on SPY, but is it going to continue? Fifty twos for tomorrow's expert going for about a dollar thirty two. There 
There goes Sophie starting to climb again. Soul race still moving up over 4% now. Thinking about doing a swing on Tilray. That looks ready for another good breakout. Tilray, I'd probably target about 15 bucks. Dwayne said he jumped into a plug for tomorrow's expo. There was someone else that loved to trade plug in the trade room there. I'm wondering. I forget who it was. It was either Karen or, or Captain Thomas. Yeah, Tilray's been great the past few days. I'm thinking about jumping into that. There goes Sophie taking off again. Let's see a break that 2150. Plug's looking good there, Dwayne. I like that. Good setup on plug. That looks nice for a long term trade. I'm going to target that 50 to $60 bio. over the next like year with some Prevention options that would be a nice study move trial there. In systemic lupus post the clinical trials website. The study is not yet recruiting. Apple's starting to climb again. That's Papa Romeo Victor Bravo PRVB. Plug's looking good there, Dwayne. Let's see plug options. AEMD. October 22nd, 35 strikes going for about 56 cents. worldwide patent to treat long-haul COVID sy symptoms. You know, if it has another good move like that, I mean, you'll be in the money. It's there goes Sophie right medical. up to that 2150. Posted to... The WIC got right up to it again. A, a, the uh, patent scope website. That's a worldwide patent to, uh, to treat long-haul COVID There we go, breaking that 2150 symptoms. on Sophie. She That's is Alpha off. Echo Michael Delta AEMD. There goes Apple on the move again. Let's see, Stu says Microsoft's on the run. Let's see, Microsoft, six-month daily. Not bad there on Microsoft. Want to see it break that 310 there. If Apple starts moving again, I'm going to do another day trade on that, but I'm going to wait for it to really have that next move here. Sophie right up to 2155. Moderna is starting to come off that 50. MRNA. Went right off that 50 there. See if that breaks out. There goes Apple. Nice candle on Apple. Take a look at that options chain for Apple there. In case I want to uh, trade it. I'm not jumping into it yet. Just looking to see what they're going for. 150 is 59 cents. That's what we picked them up for last time. Spy is pulling back though. If you take a look at Spy, I don't want to jump into some calls if. We have the general markets pulling back. Got right up to the 452.20. Pull back down to that 50. See what that's going to do there. Let's keep an eye on Apple. <coughs> Tesla 885. NVIDIA's got a nice little climb here too. Apple. Apple looks good for a swing overnight if I wanted to hold something. DWAC, Digital World Acquisition, shares up about 42% now. Spy is coming right off of high. Uh, 450, 180. Long announcement last SMA night by today, one minute. Donald Trump of a merger with his media organization. That's Delta Whiskey Alpha Charlie, DWAC, now at 1420, uh, 43. Almost 44% now, DWAC. If Apple breaks 149.60, I'm probably just going to get a swing trade on Apple, hold that overnight. Let's see what next week's expos are. Uh, 150 is going for about 235. Let me look at the calendar here. TSLA, Apple. Tesla, Inside EVs. Apple earnings Says are next Tesla week. Tesla is the world's fastest growing brand. Tesla, the world's fastest growing brand. He is pumping the heck out of this thing. One hundred eighty-four percent. 
That's uh, Tango. So Sandy Apple Lima, earnings are next in, week. Uh, if we wanted to jump into Apple next week, we could certainly do that instead of getting this week. Best you know, tomorrow's brands. expo. I'm just watching the markets here. Still a little choppy. On that first uh, day trade, since I always like sharing with you guys everything we're doing, trade challenge account. Uh, we took a $147 loss on that first day. LUV Southwest now. Air CEO on CNBC says he agrees with Texas State Governor that we cannot mandate vaccination requirement climbing for off employees. That 10. Looking at everything here. I got Spy. We got Sophie, Moderna, Apple, Facebook, Baba. Victor. Nike is still on the climb. Lucid still getting a steady climb there too. Buy's getting a climb. Sophie's retracing down to that 20. Apple's pulling back down to that 20. But Spy's getting a climb there. <coughs> Netflix is getting a nice pop today, up uh, over 2%. U.S. September existing home sales, 6.29 million. The estimate, 6.09 million, plus 7%. Here you, guys, here you go, guys. Uh, U.S. Uh, existing US home leading sales, index, 6.29 plus million versus 6.09 million estimated. Percent expected EU consumer confidence, minus 4.8%, better than the minus 5% expected. VLDR, Velodyne LIDAR, announcing appointment of Chairman Victor Lima Delta Romeo. VLDR. Now it's just coming on CNBC now, these numbers. So now you're going to see what the market, how it reacts.
Every time Spy gets a little pop there, Apple pulls back. There goes Moderna. Big candle on Moderna. There goes Sophie. Look at the candle on Moderna there. M-R-N-A. That's a nice candle. SNBL, Sundial. Uh, shares moving higher here. Sophie getting right back up to 2150. mentioning possible takeover right candidates back up to for 452. And Apple still retreats. LRY. Mentioning uh, SNDL, Sundial Growers, ACB, Aurora Cannabis. Nice, Sammy. Nice job, Sammy. Shares of Sundial spiking here. Two for two. Nice job, Sammy. It works. Captain said he just got plugged for tomorrow, too. There goes Spy on the climb. I want to trade Apple, because Apple is so darn cheap here. Those 150s, I mean, she just has a 1% climb here. That's, that's going to make you a 100% gain. You know, it's going for about 50 cents a contract. Let's see. Captain says he picked up, uh, what you get, uh, plugs? What, uh, what strike did you get on plug? Let's take a look. P-L-U-G. Thirty-five strike on plug. Take a look. P L U G. Thirty-five strike going for about fifty cents. Oh, you got it for the twenty-ninth expo. Dwayne, did you get tomorrow's expo or uh, the twenty-ninth? Okay, tomorrow's. Okay. That's not a bad setup there, you know. I think uh, I think that 29th expo is going to be nice. But if you get that another 5% climb tomorrow, Dwayne's going to hit it out of the park with that one. That'd be a grand slam there. Just watching SPY, you know, like nothing's going on yet to make another day trade. I'm watching SPY. It's consolidating between these SMAs. So when you're trading between these SMAs there, you know, you really don't want to do anything. I taught you that, Sammy, when you were down here, you know, wait for that good setup. Visa, that was just worth 20 bucks uh, this morning, and it's uh, back up to 20 cents there. So climbing off the lows on Visa. Um, we'll see if that does anything throughout the day here. As far as Baba, that's pulling back a little bit. Spy is just not doing too much yet. You know, you got that 10 crossing below that 20. So, you know, technically it's in BDM, but it's holding above that 10, 20, 50 right now. So, you know, nothing to, you know, nothing tradable on Spy yet. Uh, if we take a look, though, Moderna is starting to look good, but now it's pulling back again. You know, that's one that's nice for a quick climb because that one, you know, as you can see, it climbed from, what, 333 all the way up to 336 in the matter of a couple of minutes. So, you know, taking out that 338, you know, if it holds that 333 and starts that climb, you know, you could easily target that 338, which is a $5 climb there. It's a nice move. Or a $3 climb there. My eyes, I thought that was 333. So that would be a nice move up to about 338, a $3 climb. Spy's starting to climb again. Apple's not doing much. Moderna's holding. That 1020 cross is coming up on Moderna right now. Let's see. The Dow. What's the Dow doing? Dow is down about 76 points. NASDAQ's up about 37. And we got this SPY that's down about $1.60. 
So still some choppiness, not much going on. So just sitting back right now. IBM is such a dog, you know, I don't like IBM, you know, Warren Buffett's big on IBM, but I mean, they just, they're not keeping up with the competition, you know, I mean, they're just, I mean, seriously, they don't have any computers, I mean, it's all, you know, I don't know, it's more for the big industrials than the average uh, retail consumer, where back when they used to have uh, products for retail, you know, wholesale, business, industrials. I'm just not a fan of IBM. There goes Sophie. Sophie has taken off new highs of the day on Sophie. And so if I... Nice climb on Sophie. There goes Spy taking off too. Apple's starting to climb. If I wanted to do a trade on Apple, now would be the time. I could look for that quick little gain there on Apple. Didn't give me the signal yet on Apple, but it looks ready to. October 22nd, the 150s are going for about 49 cents. That's still pulling back there though on Apple. Spy's looking good though. Spy just got that 1020 cross. New highs of the day on Spy. Sophie is continuing to break out. New highs on Sophie, 2162. SOFI, SOFI, SOFI Technology is getting a pop. A little late to the game. It's up about 2.5%. Skyjack, are you still in that? I think there's a few of you guys in Sophie. Skyjack said yes. Michael, you trade in IBM? Ray says, looks like RH is leading the pack this morning. We were talking about RH the other day. That was taken off there. Let's see what it's doing. Yeah, not doing too much. I'm watching Moderna over there. Moderna's classic uh, textbook right there. You know, if we take a look at the today one minute, here comes that 1020 cross. It's holding that 20. Now, if we break that resistance right here about 335.60, that would be a nice entry and target that 338. But I know Moderna is very expensive, so I'm not going to be able to do that in the trade challenge account for you guys because that's going to go over your, you know, top of your, you know, what you should be, you know, the 7% rule. So Moderna is usually quite expensive. If you take a look, just looking at that, you know, the 335s are going to cost 500 bucks, $520 for a single contract. That takes you over 10% of your account on just one trade. And with it being an overnight trade, it's very risky. So I want to do that one with you guys. There goes Moderna. What did I say about Moderna? Held that 20, started to break out above that 335.60. And now you can look for that 338 target on Moderna. That one's looking nice. Looks like she's going to get a quick pop. Spy is pulling back, though, but Moderna is still climbing. Ray, what are you, what are you doing with your Costco? Look at that, right up to 337 now on Moderna. She's still going.
Sophie is taking out new highs right now. There she goes, Skyjack. There goes Apple on the climb. I want to look for Apple for a day trade here. I'm looking for a day trade, guys. So if you guys see anything on the move there for a day trade, let me know. Let's see. John Fahili says Jimmy Chanos hates it. Worth about 12 bucks a share. A little late to the show. Do you still have Baba till next week, says Chris. Yes, I love Baba. Baba, Baba, Baba. Ali Baba. I love my Baba. That is looking good. I think that's going to get a nice climb to 185 to 190 next week, especially with big tech earnings next week. If she breaks 180, I'm adding to that Baba trade. Matter of fact, let me set my alert now because I'm not always watching Baba. So let's see. What do I have on here? Let's get rid of all these other ones here. Delete. Delete, 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 delete. Baba. That coffee is starting to kick in. That third cup of coffee, I think it's kicking in now. Let's see. Baba, 180. And below 160. Okay, I don't care about that. Add to Baba. That will be my alert if she breaks 180. And okay. And that alert is set. So if Baba breaks above 180, that'll pop up as uh, uh, an alert has been met. And we can certainly look. There goes uh, Apple now. Apple's on the climb. Might do an Apple day trade. Today, one minute. There goes Sophie. 21.70. Tesla's climbing. Let's see. Tesla's up 26 bucks. 3%. 8.93. She has one more day like today. You're going to see that freaking out of the money vertical spread we did on, on Tesla tomorrow really pay off. And imagine if she uh, gets to 900 today or breaks 900. There goes Sophie. Big run on Sophie. 2173, 2174 on Sophie. There goes Baba coming off the bottom there. B A B A. Today, one minute, finally getting a break above that 20. We'll see if it holds. If it gets that break above that 20 holds, we already got the MACD. Moving average convergence divergence has crossed. And here comes the first green bar above the zero line. As long as we hold above that 20, we should see that as a green bar above that uh, zero line there. Uh, so that's a possible day trade up to that 179.50 if it starts to break out there, which it's holding. And here comes that first green bar. Apple's getting that 1020 cross coming up now, starting to climb, starting to move. Breaking out of that consolidation. Apple, I really want to see a move above, you know, 149.56, 57 before I jump in. There goes Baba. Uh, Apple's on the climb. Moderna is still breaking out. Big climb on Moderna. You remember what we talked about with Moderna there? You know, when we had that 1020 cross, I said, guys, it's textbook here on Moderna. You could scroll back there, you know. Held that 20, started to climb. I said that uh, 338 would be a good target there. That's looking like a nice breakout. Uh, Moderna is still on the climb. Spy is on the climb. Sophie, uh, 2175. There goes uh, Moderna again. Big climb on Moderna. I'm watching Apple over to the right. I'm watching Spy. I'm looking for a good day trade setup. So if you guys see anything, let me know. Uh, Tesla's at 8.95, guys. She's up 29 bucks, 3.3 percent. Take a look at that option chain. There goes Moderna hitting our target of 3.38. All right, Tesla, T S L A. Actually, uh, and resuming trade now after a circuit breaker hole. That's JRGC. Going for about 23 cents now. There goes Spy taking off again. 25 cents on that Tesla now. Moderna breaking that 338. Nice. Jerry said she bought the other Tesla. 
Uh, Jerry, what'd you get that Tesla spread that we mentioned yesterday? Eight ninety five, nine hundred. What'd you pick that up for a contract? Was it a dollar twelve or something? A dollar fifteen? Okay, got it for a dollar ten. Nice. That is nice there, Jerry. You're gonna have max gains on that. So she picked it up for a dollar ten. The max that could be worth the eight ninety five, nine hundred vertical spread is obviously five bucks. So five divide that by one point one. That's a three hundred and fifty five percent gain. Nice job, Jerry. Nice job. That other one that we talked about was that um, 9.40, 9.50 vertical spread, which was 30 cents to be worth $10, you know, which is about a 3,000% gain there if Tesla got up to that uh, 9.50 by Expo. But Jerry just hit a grand slam with that Tesla. That's a nice one there. That one's still climbing, looking good. 8.98. On Tesla, 898. Man, she gets up to 910, 920 today. You guys are gonna have a. Who, how many of you guys got in that out of the money vertical to, uh, Tesla spread we mentioned yesterday? Look at Moderna going. There's so much going on right now. Tesla's breaking out. That trade that we got out of the money that can make over a 3,000% return. Moderna getting up to almost 339. That was a nice one there when we were talking about that 1020 cross because it was looking so good on that BDM cycle there, holding below that 10. Got that 1020 cross. It was consolidating there between that 1020. Got that breakout. I said once she breaks that Coming up at 1030, she should storage. have that nice breakout above that resistance. A and it did just build that. build of 90 BCF is expected. Let's see here. Tesla right back up to 898. Apple's starting to get a climb there. Let's take a look at Apple. Looking for a good day trade here. Would like to get the trade challenge account up to about 55 today and then six grand tomorrow. Just looking for those setups here to take us there. Tesla or Netflix is still on the climb. Nice job on that, Jerry. Let's buy right down to that. Right down to that 20. Sophie down to the 20. Moderna's climbing off the 10. Baba looks ready for a breakout. Tesla's up 30 bucks. You guys uh, in any day trades? If you guys jump into day trades, let me know. Go spy. Let's see. Baba's, Baba wants to uh, get that cross. Take a look at Baba. That's looking textbook there. Might do something with Baba here. Baba finally consolidating. Wants to have that 1020 cross. We already got the green bars above zero line and his spam the MACD. I already had the crossover in the MACD. Looking for that 1020 cross and candle above. Apple got a big candle there, but still not doing too much for the day. It's got that range from about 149.50 down to about 149, which isn't doing much there. Still waiting on a good move here to take advantage of. <coughs> Booking got a nice move today.
Let's see. Dwayne says he's in an Etsy swing. Now, honestly, I want to know the truth with you guys. Has anyone get, gotten anything off of Etsy before? Like, really, I know what Etsy is and everything, but, who, like, who buys stuff from there? You guys have? What do you guys get from there? What type of stuff? What's your, like, go-to Etsy thing that you got to buy? Good personalized guess? Guys, there goes Baba. We've been waiting and waiting. There goes Baba. 1020 cross, starting to break out. Candle above that 178.50, above that 50 SMA. That's going to be a nice entry there if you're looking for a day trade. Apple's starting to take off there too. Apple's got a nice little climb happening. Spy's taking off. Let me see. Etsy. Oh my God, I found what I want. RDHL. I just went to Etsy. There we go. That's what I want to get there. A customized uh, meat cutting board. I get the uh, Wagyu from Think, Japan shipped to me. It's like a thousand for bucks for a couple of pounds of steak. Delta, Hotel Lima, and I RDHL. use a freaking uh, plastic cutting board. And I always wanted a good engraved one. And I just went to Etsy.com and that was the first thing that came up. It must be listening to me. Because I've been looking at a good cutting board. <laughs> That's funny that that came up there. Let's see. Wow, they got some pretty cool stuff there. I always looked for personalized, but could you could you count on them? Like, is it re is it good sellers? Like, do you actually get what you guys order, or do you guys like um, not too impressed with the quality? I want to get a BCA cutting board. I had one um, priced out for me, and they wanted eight hundred dollars for a cutting board, and I'm like, you gotta be you gotta be shitting me. No way I'm paying 800 bucks for a cutting board. Oh, that's a nice one there. That is a nice one, Noel. I wonder if they'll put my logo on that. Personalization wall. That's a nice cutting board. I like that one. Not bad. Who's best? Who the hell is Boo? There goes Baba continuing to break out there. That's looking nice. Apple's on the climb. Moderna is getting to climb off that 50. Baba's up about 1% there. If she breaks that 180, like I said, I'm adding to Baba. Q's at the high of the day. Q's are looking good there. There goes Baba. Baba's ripping higher now. I'm waiting for Apple. I want to see Apple do something. Apple's usually really easy to day trade. Tesla getting right back up to 898. Under Armour is on fire, guys, up over 3%. That's just continuing to climb there. That got it right up to 1840. Look at that three-month daily on Under Armour. I think that would probably be a nice one going into that December Expo for a swing trade. Probably pretty cheap, too. Let's take a look at that quick. Coming up, natural gas storage. A build of 90 BCF is the consensus. Let's see. Excuse me, those 1750s are very cheap, but there's no uh, volume on them. And look at the difference between the, sp uh, the bid and the ask on that 20 strike. There goes Spy. Nice breakout on Spy. There goes Baba. Big breakout on Baba. Today, one minute. Nice climb on Baba. Spy is finally starting to take off here. All right, what's the Dow doing? Dow is down about... 67 points there goes spy apple's probably going to start breaking out now i'm waiting for apple if apple moves i want to do apple but spy would be the second option here there goes apple what do you think Dwayne? we ready for another apple j trade here 
October 22nd, 150 is going for about 54. What do you guys have? You guys have their name on it with your logo? Alright, I'm thinking about picking up this um this Apple call here. Apple looks ready for another another nice climb here. I'm watching it. 54. I'm just gonna do a pick up that for about 54 cents. Let's see, she just climbed up to 56 there. I'm gonna have to adjust. A that. build of 92 BCF versus the 90 expected natural gas futures ticking lower here. Five dollars okay, eight so cents. Wait, well, we have that canceled there, so we'll see. Those uh, natural gas numbers just came out, so things are pulling back a little bit on that news, but it's usually short lived. So we'll see if we can pick her up. If she gets a climb there, I'm watching Apple in the background. Let me put it on. BA, so Boeing, Boeing see. forecast Africa's Boeing 20 forecasts. year commercial aviation market opportunity valued at nearly $400 billion. That's Bravo Alpha. Boeing seeing uh, some. What did they say? Four hundred billion. I'm watching Apple here, fifty-one. She starts to climb there. I'm watching Spy and Apple. If it starts to climb, I'm gonna jump in that Apple day trade. I might even hold it overnight there. I'm watching what it's gonna do at that ten right here on Apple. Skyjack said Nike's at the high of the day. Nike's a nice swing trade too, Sky, going into that December expo. I like that. There goes Spy. Baba's taking off again. There goes Sophie. Big climb on Sophie. Let's see. If Apple gets a climb there, I want to pick up that Apple. Probably change it to about 52 because I want to wait for that confirmation there. Bob is having a heck of a nice breakout. 179.12 on Baba. Big breakout on Baba. There goes Sophie. 21.65. Apple not doing a darn thing there. Man. Wanted a day trade Apple, but not giving me those signals. And it's a pretty ugly looking today chart so far. You notice Apple there? So it's probably good I didn't re enter into that. Just. Choppy as hell right now. JYNT going Moderna. for a short Big report climb from on Moderna. Bear Cave. That's Baba still on the Julia climb Yankee, there. Yankee, November Tango. JYNT. Apple Says wants to break it, Dwayne. It really does. Corp. Apple is one of those ones you uh, know it's probably ago, better off as a swing trade. On problems at the joint. JYNT. Man, now that coffee's report. got me. That's um, Julia Yankee, November Tango. JYNT. It's got me having like in a, sh a sugar high right now. I'm all over the place. Moderna. Look at that candle on Moderna. Two coffees are usually good. When I go three, Moderna's got a big candle there. I'm watching Apple over to the right. I want to see that climb off that 20. I'm watching Spy get right up to that 450, 250. There goes Spy breaking out again. New highs of the day on Spy. I mean, Apple's got a, a steady trend line going higher here, but it's just, it's not much, you know, for, uh, 149 to 149.50. So looking for something here to day trade. Baba's up about 1%. Netflix up 2.7. Facebook's in the green and climbing. <coughs> Apple pulling back there below the 10 20 50. Sophie's still on the run. Big 
Nvidia up about four bucks, two twenty-five. There goes spy. New highs of the day on spy. Dwayne, I like those the one fifty calls on Apple for next week's expo. I think that's a pretty good idea. They're pretty cheap too. Facebook's finally starting to break out there. There goes Spy, another climb on Spy. SIOX price target raised to ten dollars from eight dollars at eight C rain right. Baba's That's holding that 10 right now. Sandy India Oscar X-Ray. Apple just got a little climb. There goes uh, Facebook taking off again. Facebook up about a dollar for the day. Dollar four now. Sky Jackson Facebook 1119 Expo. I think Facebook's going to have a, a nice big climb. Uh, hitting $2.63. Especially after that big pullback. She's due cents. for a nice climb on, uh, on Facebook. 19.5% now. That's India, India Oscar X ray. Sire Gene announcing that earlier we up for a a fast or, Is that a live trade in the uh, main account? By the there? FDA. We didn't close that out, did for we? For treatment of patients with GM1 gangliosis. That's Sandy India Oscar X ray SIOX. So do we have a gain on our on our Facebook trade? We have to look at that. We got one in the main account there. Let's see, you guys are in plug. You guys are saying go plug. Let's see plug. Wow, plug 35 bucks. Nice job, guys. Some of you guys are in. Uh, Dwayne, you said you're in tomorrow's expo on plug, right? You should have a nice profit on that. Oh, there goes Moderna, too. Moderna's having a big climb there. 37% gain. Nice. Nice, Dwayne. Moderna is still on the climb. Nothing big, small PCI position. Uh, Dwayne, I'm looking for a good day trade here. I want to find something to day trade. Not seeing much moving on my watch list. Netflix up 3.3%. Netflix is still climbing. 
Yeah, definitely. Dwayne just said you should have taken Netflix when I mentioned it earlier. That's still on the climb there. Three month daily chart on Netflix. I mean, she looks like she's going to get up to at least 650. So, you know, if you were day trading that, I'd have 650 as my target. Let's see what those Netflix calls are going for. NFLX. October 22nd. I see, you see what I mean there? Uh, 645s are going for about 5 bucks. So 650, you break even. 655, you have 100% return. That one I'd feel comfortable trading with Netflix, knowing its volatility. Tesla right back up to 897. You got the 645s this morning at $3. Nice. I've been slowly watching Apple over there to the right. I'm watching Spy. Tilray back up over 4%. Just needed to have that little push there, Dwayne. She's pulling back there now, though, Apple. Let's see anything over here on the market movers list. CLOV, Clover Health, the December nine dollar call is active now. Charlie Lima, Oscar Victor, CLOV. And this looks like a nice one here, doesn't it? Danimir, Danimir Scientific. It's got a nice double bottom there. Have that twenty is my first target. Shares of Clover Health picking higher He's now. Eight dollars four starting to get a cents. Climb That's here Charlie Lima, Oscar, Victor. C L O V. I see that continuing to climb off those lows there. That had a big pullback. I mean, it's up over what three dollars there. It's up three dollars since where uh, she pulled back to. So. I'll take another $3 climb there for today. Nike is on fire. I wonder what Paul is doing with uh, Nike. MGM, Kevin Garnett joins Bet MGM as brand ambassador. That's Michael Golf Michael. That looks nice, that Nike, doesn't it? Right back up to at least that 165, 170. That might be a good swing trade. Look at how expensive those 160s are, though. I think a spread would be a great idea on Nike. I think it should get up to that 170 quite easily. That December 17th is not a bad expo there. There goes Spy again. I like that Nike, though. 
look at coin for a day trade. Let's see what coin's doing there. Ah, choppiness there. That's looking nice on a today one minute chart. That's for sure. Let's see what those options are going for. The three tens. October 22nd Expo, about $4.80 there. <laughs> so you need it at 315 just to break even there. He's back at 230. Spies on the climb. Amazon was looking great before. Jerry, you still in those uh, leaps on out on on Amazon there? Nice climb. I think we're gonna see Amazon at uh, thirty four fifty by the end of today, or at least by tomorrow. That'll take you right up to that resistance, 3450. So if you want to capture that, it's still a 14-point climb from where it's at right now. Let's see what those Amazon contracts are going for. 3435 going for about 20 bucks there. You know, it might get up there by the end of today, though. WABC West uh, America. Too much so for the trade challenge account. Report. On the climb, 82 though. cents in earnings for a WABC. Tesla 899. Near new highs of the day on Tesla. The estimate was 79 cents. That's a beat for Whiskey Alpha Bravo Charlie WABC. Eighty cents adjusted earnings on WABC. Man, Spy is just continuing to climb there. Spy is breaking out beautifully. Spy is having one heck of a nice break out there. Those Apple 150s are 39 cents now. There goes Apple starting to climb. Let's see. I don't know why I'm fixated on these Apple 150s. It's a nice climb though on Apple there. What do you guys think about Apple there on that candle? She breaks that 20. I'd love to pick that up for about 42 or 43 cents. She breaks that blue 20 SMA there on it today one minute. 
Not doing it yet, though. Sophie's pulling back from those highs there. Netflix still on the run. Tesla is at 900, says Sky. 900 on Tesla. Man, one more day like today on Tesla. And what, what would you guys do with that 3,000% return? percent gain on Tesla on the day. Stu's up 34 percent on his Tesla shares. Jerry, what uh, percentage gain do you have on those uh, that vertical spread there? Should at least have what 100, 200 percent gain. I'm watching Apple here. If that breaks out, I'm going to do a, a trade on Apple. I don't want to jump in early. Dwayne, I did the uh, Tesla spread on the uh, main account there. I didn't turn around to look at it yet on the iMac. I'm watching the option chain right above here. I got that out of the money vertical spread though. Watching Apple, watching Spy there. Spy pulled back down to that 10. Apple's still getting a little climb. Do I want to jump into Apple? That's the question. Do I want to jump into it and hold it? It's about 10.51. So if I jumped into that, I'm probably going to hold it through the afternoon there. I forgot I was on YouTube too, uh, Dwayne. I have that down here. Let's see. A lot of things there. Quantum says Playboy. Not too shabby. Playboy is never shabby. Let's see. Playboy Miss Santa edition. Don't know what that means. Come on, plug. EA breakout. Boeing was breaking out on that news there. Quantum says uh, they like plug. Target last week was great. Walmart, Target, Costco. HPQ. CHPT. Baba's going to be moving. That's going to be, uh, that, like I said, that's piggyback on tech. Facebook breaking out. Facebook up $1.15. DWAC Digital World Act. All time high on Netflix. Nice job on that, Dwayne. I should have jumped in when we talked about that. Alpha Charlie, DWAC. NFLX. Nice break out there. All time highs, you're saying, huh? Wow. Unbelievable. Just think of that idea there. Just uh, renting out movies and then starting the show once you uh, grow that. Man, they've come such a long way. I remember way back when when I was a mailman and uh, delivering Netflix, the CDs, the DVDs to people's houses in Honesdale. Everyone was getting them. Speaker Pelosi says we are making great progress on reaching an agreement on the budget spending plan.
Pelosi talking about her spending plan. That's all they want to do is spend, spend, spend. I'm watching Apple there. I'd love to do something with Apple. But it's not doing a darn thing. Spy is breaking back here, so Spy might be a good uh, put entry here for a DT. Going into the uh, lunch hours here, I might come back down to about 4.52. Didn't find any good setups this morning, though. Took that one uh, little loss there so far for $147 on the first Apple trade that we made today. Trade challenge account at $5,075.46. Still up over 100% since we started. Let's see, 5075.48, divide that by 2500. We're up 103% in the trade challenge account. We were at a high of what, like uh, 120%, so down about 17% from the high there. Now Apple got that 1020 cross. Spy is getting a climb off that low there. Let's see. Apple's got that 1020 cross. But it's not really moving just yet. I think we're getting ready for that Apple day trade here. It's coming up. GTA C U G T A C. Global Technology Acquisition announcing pricing of $175 million upsize IPO, $11.50, correction, $10 per unit, 17.5 million units. That's, That's looking pretty good there. She breaks Golf that 149.30 with body above. GTACU. Visa's on the climb, still looking good on Visa. Above 230. All right, guys, on YouTube, it's about 11 o'clock here, so I'm going to get off the YouTube here. If you guys want to come join us, you guys could go to BreakingChartAlerts.com. Go to Join Now, Membership Pricing Plans. We're going to be in the trade room. We're still going to be live here for a bit. So if you guys want to come join us, go to Membership Pricing Plans. You guys could click on uh, one of these live supports here that we are live. Uh, you guys could pick the plan you guys want. Use your promo code that's down below here and uh, come join us. We'll be in the trade room. You can access that by clicking live trading live trade room right here and then if you guys want to join us on zoom you just click here live morning zoom live afternoon zoom and uh, you guys could come join us there so if any questions just click down below here speaker pelosi and, um, says democrats and you guys could chat with us right here and we'd be happy to answer you apple's starting to break out now so i'm going to go and uh, see if i'm going to make this trade here on apple so if you guys want to come join us come join us Please like the video, give it a share, and uh, I will see you guys later. Have a great day, everyone.